balance today, we're going to go bankrupt. A dire situation in Oakland as the city council works to balance the budget, but one of the most crucial elements hinges on a deal constructed by embattled Mayor Sheng Tao involving the future of that Coliseum complex. Good evening. Thanks for being here. I'm Julian Glover. And I'm Ama Dates. Oakland faces a historic budget deficit, and the deadline to balance it is just five days away. All of this coming as the city's mayor continues to keep a low profile just days after her home was raided by the FBI. ABC 7 News reporter Unser Hassan is at City Hall and joins us with the latest on how the mayor's personal turmoil is impacting the city. Unser. I'm and Julian, good evening. Oakland City Council is set to begin budget debates starting tomorrow. In talking to some city council members and uh, community activists, they're raising concerns about discrepancies in the actual budget numbers. And Oakland City Council member Noel Gaia with a stark warning saying if city council can't balance this budget, Oakland could be bankrupt as early as next year. The budget right now where we're at, I mean... Oakland City Council President Nikki Fortunato Bass wouldn't answer questions about the budget following a finance meeting one day before budget talks are set to begin. If we don't balance today, we're going to go bankrupt. Oakland City Council member Noel Gallo says the city is facing a historic deficit, which Oakland Mayor Sheng Tao estimates at close to $200 million for this year and next year. With less than a week left to pass the budget, Gallo says one of the biggest challenges is the accuracy of the data. It's the actual numbers that I have available. The numbers keep changing from one meeting to another. Uh, and at the same time, how much money will the city be able to generate tax-wise? Almost 80% of Oakland's revenue comes from taxes. Property tax, a huge portion of that. The city says property tax has grown steadily around 8.5% for the past few years. However, a May 2024 report noted with the current macro environment, the Federal Reserve's efforts to fight inflation with rising interest is shifting the growth pattern to stable and is teetering into declining. Gallo says cuts are inevitable. But the reality is, is if I make reductions, where do I reduce the budget? What positions do I eliminate or reduce? And uh, certainly the public, my neighbors, they, they want public service uh, or the public safety to increase. Brooke Levin with the Oakland Parks and Recreation Foundation spoke at the finance meeting. She says Measure Q passed to fund parks and tackle homelessness with $500 million over the next 20 years. She says this budget shifts a lot of the new expenses from the general fund into Measure Q. We have a letter to the council with a list of questions, uh, which was dated June 5th, and we have not gotten answers yet to those questions, so we don't know which category they have put these new expenses into. I will remain focused on supporting the city council as they vote to pass a balanced budget this week. We will complete the transaction for the sale of the Coliseum property to the African American Sports Entertainment Group. That commitment from Mayor Tao, who's involved in the current FBI investigation into possible campaign finance irregularities, may prove important. Critics argue a big part of balancing this current budget hinges on that sale. The African American Sports and Entertainment Group's Ray Bobbitt says, Despite the turmoil Tao is experiencing, they remain committed. We're from Oakland, so we're used to navigating um, difficulties and changes. Um, but ultimately, at the end of the day, we love our city, we love our community, and we're really excited about this project. Tomorrow at 1.30, there's a special city council meeting to look at the budget deficit. The sale of the Coliseum will be one of the talking points. And then on Friday at 1.30, debate on the actual budget begins. Reporting live on Sarhassen, ABC 7 News.